Hello viewer, Eric the Car Guy here with yet another uh, hopefully useful video to you. I just did some electrical work on this 1994 Geo Prism. I, I also made a video and it was about uh, the basics of testing for electrical problems or finding the cause of electrical problems. And one of the things that you may run into uh, during the course of your diagnosis is a relay. So I thought I'd make a quick little video on how to test a relay. And maybe before we get started, we might talk a little bit about what a relay actually is. And a relay is, is basically an electromagnetic switch, and it's used uh, basically to control high amperage circuits using low amperage input. So this is, this is basically the heart and soul of the relay here. And what happens is, is electricity is sent up through this coil here, and it, and it basically creates an electric, electromagnet. And that electromagnet closes this contact here and allows the high amp current to flow through these larger terminals. So they use these smaller terminals to basically control this high amp circuit. A good example of where you might find something like this is like, say, uh, headlights are a good one. Headlights are, are high amp circuits and they use the switch, which is a low amp circuit, to basically trip the relay to turn the headlights on. Uh, horns are another good one. Cooling fans are a big one where they use something like this. Um, like fog lights. If you go to install fog lights uh, by yourself on your car, make sure you use a relay. So run the switch into the relay uh, so that, and then run the lights out of the, the big side of the relay. And this will prevent burning up your switch. If you don't, you're gonna melt that switch. But why don't we briefly cover how to test these, uh, these relays. Okay, here's where this relay lives, and according to the uh, diagram on the outside here, this is the relay for the headlights. Now, a really popular thing to do to check relays is just to activate the switch and listen for it to click. You can also feel it. The problem with this is, is it's not always accurate. Sometimes the relay will click, but it won't actually close the circuit, and that's what you need it to do. So the next step, and what I suggest you do if you have to test a relay, is to do what I'm about to show you. Okay, just to give you an idea of what I've done here is I've hooked my power probe up to the battery on the car, but we're actually gonna work over on the bench. Okay, now we're back over here at the bench, and as I just showed you, I've got my power probe hooked up to the uh, battery on the car. Um, I just came over to the bench because this stuff is easier to show you. I'm using my power probe because it's easy because I've got a ground and I can supply power uh, with the actual lead itself. You don't need a power probe. You can actually, this is what I used to use before I had a power probe, just wires with alligator clips and you can do the same thing. You can hook one up to ground and you can hook the other up to the power uh, side of the battery and you've got basically the same thing that I have here. It's just, this to me is easier. So. You can do the same thing with those regular things. The other thing you're going to need is a DVOM, digital volt ohm meter, and uh, we're going to set, this is, it's really hard to see the green of the ohm scale on this, but I'm just going to set it up to auto ranging. Um, I'm really just looking for continuity, and in fact I'm looking for something close to zero. On high resistance circuits, um, I'm, I wouldn't use auto ranging, but on this one, anytime you see continuity, which is what we'll be looking for here, I'll get a beep, and looks like I got a little bit of resistance in my leads. Not that much, but if we see that much when we're doing our testing, we know that we have continuity. And that's the thing. This will click. Remember, it's an electromagnet that, that basically closes a circuit. So what you do, sometimes what you'll see on the top of the relays, you'll see like a little wiring diagram and you'll see like um, it'll show one side going into what looks like a coil and then over to the other side, that is the low amp side of the circuit. And then the other side you'll see like a, a, a bar that's, that's like hanging up and then a little dot, like it's a switch that will close when that electromagnet is active, which is pretty much what I showed you at the beginning of this video. So in my experience, the big amp circuits are the big terminals, and the low amp circuit are the little, little circuits. And it, and it kind of doesn't matter as far as polarity going through that electromagnet. So really, um, you can hook up to one side. And remember, you can do this with these, with these test leads and then doing the same thing that I'm doing with this uh, power probe. But 
Um, one of the first things you can do, as you can see I've got ground here, is I can supply power and you can hear it click. Well that's not quite enough, okay? Just because it's clicking doesn't mean that the, the high amp side of the circuit is working properly. In order to determine that, we've got to take our other leads. This is where it gets kind of tricky. Got to take our other leads and put them on the big side of the circuit. I'll try to get my hand out of the way there. Then I'm going to supply that, that power and then listen for continuity. Oops. Sometimes another hand would be nice. See? And now I know this relay is good. I knew it was good before I started, but now I've confirmed that this relay is good. So, if you're going to test a relay, go the extra step, check the continuity and see what you got. So what you could have with this is it could click just fine. But what could be happening is, is like say the contacts on that electromagnet are, are not doing so good and pit it up or what have you. And that, that could cause some increased resistance and a voltage drop. Maybe enough of a voltage drop to where something isn't working right or maybe not at all. I mean it, it could get that bad. So don't just check to see if your relay is clicking. Go the extra step check to see what the continuity is and if it is like it is on here which is pretty much zero you saw that my leads pretty much had uh, what was that like 0.3 ohms uh, resistance that go through there and it, and it came up the same thing with this so th that basically says my, my base reading and the reading through my relay were both the same so I could I can say without a doubt that this relay is doing well let's wrap this up relays basically electromagnets that are used to take a low uh, amperage circuit and control a high amperage circuit. Now another quick test is if you have a suspected bad relay and there's another one that's like right next to it that's the same relay, I've often just swapped them out and see if the circuit works then. So if you have another relay that's similar to, to the one that you uh, believe you're having issue with, you can just change them out. And what I'll, what I'll do right now here before I close is I'll, I'll show you that electromagnet in action. That's basically that clicking you here. That's, what, that's exactly what's happening inside that relay when it's active. Awesome, huh? Car stuff is fun. I am Eric the Car Guy. Uh, you can always find me at ericthecarguy.com where you can get your automotive questions answered, either using the search function on the homepage, just type in a couple of keywords, or if you don't get an answer there, sign up, talk to us over at the forum. That's pretty much where I go to uh, answer automotive questions. So catch me over at the automotive forum at ericthecarguy.com if you have automotive questions. Otherwise, you can find me at Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, and I post videos on Mondays and Fridays here at Eric the Car Guy. And I close with, be safe, have fun, and of course, stay dirty. Good luck, people. See you next time.